part of that when you and Jetty are the ones that are, you know, starting all the momentum? Yeah, I mean, I think Jetty had told you after the game that, you know, the, the, the fans, when they, you know, when we get on a run like that, it's just like, contagious infectious uh, like whatever you want to call it we just we feed off that so much and it's so fun uh in moments like that like it can be anybody uh, jetty's had a number of times like that throughout the season myself included just our team going on massive runs but in the way that we came back tonight after <clears throat> excuse me not playing a great first half that was a lot of fun that felt like Cavs basketball, either with DG out, uh, with Lowry out. Um, you know, we just had to find a way coming back home to pick it back up. And it was, you know, amazing thing to see how we were sharing the basketball. And it was just, you know, for, kind of free flowing, us playing together and just us, you know, dictating, you know, everything we did on the offensive end was, was you know, predicated by getting stops on the defensive end. I thought we did a great job. At one point, I think I literally lost track of the amount of points that you and Jetty were just. <laughs> So, by the way, so did we. Yeah, nah. And, and when Rick, we were saying, like, when, when uh, Coach Carlisle called the timeout, we're like, man, thank God. I mean, because we were, we were just, we were every possession just, I mean, pushing it on the offensive end, making sure that we were setting our defense. And not to say we don't typically do that, but, you know, we knew that we had to have a, a you know, kind of a point of emphasis to, to you know, make a stop, um, you know, stop them from playing downhill, you know, get into the lane, contest their shots, take charges, do whatever we needed to do to, you know, kind of speed the game up and, and you know, dictate the pace on the offensive end. And we did that. And it was, I mean, this guy will tell you so much fun um, in that second half and in that fourth quarter. At one point I was like, okay, love, I think we're going to need some oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's right. That's, I mean, it was, we were looking at each other like, JB, can I call another timeout so we can have a little bit more? Uh, yeah. Just finding the symmetry also with Rondo, I mean, yeah. he seemed like tonight was kind of a night where he came out, fit in, knew where, you know, this more of the spots of where you like the basketball, those yeah. types of things. Obviously, he had a great game. What did you see with working with uh, him? Uh, he was just, again, like him, himself went out there and, you know, he knew that we needed his veteran leadership and, and, and presence tonight. Um, and I'll say it again, especially in that second half and, you know, for him to dish out. 12 assists. I mean, shot over 50% from the from the floor. Got to the free throw line a number of times. I mean, he did everything that you know we needed in order to to win the game. And it it, it really all started with him because he got us into our spots. He made big plays, and you know whether it be myself or Jetty or uh, JA or anybody that was in there with us, you know he made it a point of emphasis to get us in our spots and uh, play you know, our brand of basketball, I think it was, you know, if, if, you know, you look at anybody who was like, you know, the dark horse MVP of the night, it was him. Ashley, Ashley Bastock, Cleveland.com. Uh, both of you, I think it was the last shot on that 19 no run where Kevin, you did the behind the back, no look pass to Jetty, I guess. JB was joking that they let Kevin Love do Kevin Love things. I just, just, if you take me through that, that play from your perspective. I, I didn't even know if anybody was there. I was just like, I'm just going to throw it behind the back pass. No, no. I, I, I'll just say this uh, before I let uh, Jetty speak is that no, just again, it was it was dough. It was the way uh, Rondo was coming down and, you know, I could kind of sense that they were going to pick me up after hitting a couple, but also knowing, you know, Jetty was hot. So they had to pick their poison. And, you know, as soon as he let it go, I thought, OK, he's stepping up. Just want to keep that that going into the corner. Jetty took his time and knocked down another big one. But, uh, you know, that was a. Uh, a big time backbreaking play. Um, you know, I know they got the photos to, to prove how uh, ecstatic and, and, you know, crazy and, and excited we were going. I know at one point, I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Like, Jenny and I chest bump and then I, I bump him again and then here comes Isaac just yeah, Isaac rounding the perimeter. <laughs> so, like, you know, those are just the moments that, that, that we live for. But honestly, if it, if it weren't for, like, if it weren't for the crowd going wild, you know that, that that's what it's all about that's we just feed off that and have and have so much fun uh playing in front of this crowd this home crowd is so fun